We warmly welcome our next guest, Professor Huang Dongyan from the General Hospital of China People's Liberation Army, which is also famous as 301 Hospital. Professor Huang Dongyan is Vice Chairman of Beijing Otolaryngology Head Neck Surgery Professional Committee, Chinese Society of Integrated Chinese and Western Medicine. She's also appointed reviewer of Chinese and foreign academic journals. And uh, he, she was awarded as a star of science and technology of Beijing due to her ex extraordinary work. Now we welcome Professor Huang to present on the topic of application of RF plasma surgical technology in laryngeal pharyngeal surgeries. Welcome. Uh, hello, 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 everyone. Hello, hello, it's uh, we, we can hear now. Can you hear me now? Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, Bong's invitation and uh, I am very glad to have this chance to uh, to exchange my experiments with other doctors from uh, other countries. And today uh, I will uh, ensure, I, I, I will share some experiments on my application of plasma surgical system in otolaryngology surgeries. Oh, I can't go to the next, okay, okay. So first, what is plasma? Uh, plasma is a special state of particles, such as electrons, ions, atoms, molecules, or radicals. So together with solid, liquids, and gases, plasma is one of the four physical forms of matter. 99% of physical matter in the universe may be plasma. So, uh, plasma is widely existing in our environment. And how does plasma uh, surgical system works? Uh, the two main functions of the plasma surgical system is uh, one, one is the ablation and the cutting. The plasma current is delivered to the electro, electro tape to make the uh, elect to, to make the electrolyte around the tape into a low temperature plasma state, forming a 100 micro plasma thin layer in the front section of the tape. The plasma thin layer is composed of highly uh, oxidized changed particles. The charged particles have strong energy, which can break the molecular bonds so that the target tissue cells are deposed in molecular units to achieve ablation effect. The second function is uh, shrinkage, hemorrhage, and co coagulation. When the plasma energy electric field fields acts on the tissue and blood, the impedance of the tissue will cause a thermal effect, which will cause the tissue to shrink. Uh, Hemostasis and the co, uh, co, uh, co coagulations, coagulation. The plasma energy can uh, uh, currently control the temperature at 40 to 30 to uh, 40 to 70 degree uh, centigrade, which can not only ensure the shrinkage of the uh, spinal structure of the collagen molecules, but also maintain the activity of the cells. The action range uh, of the accelerated idols in the thin plasma layer is very short, only 50 to 100 micros. So the ablation effect is uh, precisely controlled on the surface layer of the tissue in, in contact with the electric and has no effect on the deep tissue. So compared with the uh, electro, cautery, and the laser, uh, the plasma has a 
very uh, ob obvious advantage. The plasma use a thin layer of plasma to act on, on the tissues, and it can break the molecular bands and work at a low temperature and can work in the uh, sal saline, and it is a bi bipolar device. And the thermal damage only one millimeter and no carbonation. So uh, it, it can be widely used in a uh, theory, series of uh, surgeries in otolaryngology. The, uh, the plasma is a bipolar or multipolar uh, device. It has a min, uh, minimal em emissive and it is faster treatment. The energy does not pass through the human body, so it, it is very safe. And the energy does not diffuse. The energy permanent is low. The whole reaction is safe and controllable. Uh, but for the electric uh, scepter, it is a unipolar and it generates heat for treatment. So it has a very obvious heat damage. And the uh, current flows through the uh, current flu flows through the human body, so uh, it uh, doesn't very safe. Uh, and the plasma has a very uh, low temperature uh, when it works, and the operation area is always controlled at forty to seventy degree centigrade. And the cutting temperature is about uh, 52 to 40 degrees centigrade. And the channel ablation temperature is about 52. So it's only a little higher than the body temperature. So it is very safe uh, for the body and has very uh, low damage. The plasma uh, surgical system composed of a uh, four parts. Uh, first is the council. The council is for generate energy for control the treatment process. And second is the uh, electro. Electro brings about the function of ablation, and hemostatis, cutting, and the coagulation. And the third is flu control unit. Uh, it brings about a uh, drip of saline so uh, it, it can provide the ions and, uh, during the operation. And the fourth is the food, food switch. Uh, you can keep a uh, switch and, uh, to start and to stop, to start the uh, treatment, use the switch. So uh, the advantage of the plasma system is first, it has a low temperature. Mm. Second, it can co co. It has a co coagulation while cutting, so it can ensure the minimal bleeding. Uh, actually, in most cases, uh, it almost has no no bleeding, and it has a, a very wide applications in uh, rhinology. Uh, laryngology, and it can both cutting and co coagulation available. So we don't need another uh, de device to have the coagulation uh, function. Uh, last, the section, the section ensures a, a timely removal of the bleeding liquids and can maintain a clean surgical field. Uh, because I, uh, I always work on the uh, pharyngeal and the lary laryngeal surgeries, so it, uh, it has a, a very wide applications in the pharyngeal surgeries. Uh, soft plant and tongue base, just as uh, Professor Burgrass said, and, uh, and the tonsil and amyloid ablation and re resection the UP3, benign and malignant tumors of tonsils, tumors in the very uh, peripheral space, 
and pharyngeal papilloma, etc. I will give you some examples. First, a tonsillectomy. It is a, a very common operation. I will show you a video. First, uh, we have a one to two millimeter saline injected into the tonsil capsule to make it easier to separate and to provide the aisles for the teeth. Then we pull the tonsils and separate the capsule from the lower pole or the upper pole. It depends on the, uh, the sur surgeon's uh, habit. We carefully identify and separate along the tonsil capsule. Protect the polite arch. So it doesn't take a long time, maybe only a few minutes to for uh, tonsillectomy and do the same thing at the left tonsil. After the tonsillectomy, you had better uh, give a, a congregation, the whole tonsil fossa. Okay, next. Oh, anoid, an anoidectomy. We have a direct view under a nasal endoscope. It's a children, so the uh, ectomy is a uh, soft. We ablate uh, layer by layer to avoid damage to the visa. Must protect the uh, eustachial tube and the drum pillow. Sometimes uh, the tube and the drum pillow looks very alike. The adenoid we have to identify clearly. Uh, the tissues near the the tumor is not easy to reach. So we can bend the tape for the tissue around uh, the, the nasal septum. And this is the round pillow.
uh, the purpose of the uh, operation is to have a good a breath for the children. So we have to uh, make the the nasal uh, have uh, make make the the, the breath canal. We can see the breath will will uh, will be easier. Okay. And about the application in OSAS, just now a uh, professor Burgridge has uh, told, told us a lot about this topic. So we can use the plasma for inferior to tubinate ablation and for the soft applied ablation and for the soft applied resection. I will show you a video. Is that your piece way? So this is plant. Uh, we make, made a U-shaped uh, mucosa flap, flap. Then remove the fat uh, in the halotide cell space. And now we can see uh, the upper panel of the tonsil. Then uh, uh, give a tonsillectomy. Stop bleeding. Okay, this is the tonsil facet. The suction, uh, uh, suction the soft plate and tonsil facet. And the uh, plasma system also have a wide of application in laryngology. Uh, for example, the early laryngeal malignancy uh, and uh, benign tumors. For example, the laryngeal papilloma assists and resection of uh, arytenoid and the laryngeal as stimulus and laryngeal amyloidosis. This is, is a early vocal fault cancer. You can see there is a layer on the right vocal uh, vocal fault. Uh, of course, we have no uh, the it, it is a cancer. So uh, first we get some tissue for the pathology analysis. And then we try to cut it from the around of the laser and give a safe border. Because it's a, it's a very early vocal cord cancer, so we don't need to cut all the vocal cords to, uh, to per, per protect uh, his voice. We just cut uh, to the muscle layer later.
after about uh, several months, uh, this this uh, local force will recover, okay. and his voice will be much better. Next, uh, epiglottic cyst. Here is an uh, epiglottic cyst. We use an endoscope. You can see the cyst is very big. We cut uh, from the bottom of the cyst, and the cyst is broken, was broken. You can see there is some liquids and some particles uh, flew from the cyst. We take the cyst and move it from side to side, try to uh, explore all the borders, the bottom of the cyst. If there is some blood, we can use this uh, tip uh, to stop the blood very uh, conveniently. This is the inner wall of the cyst. Okay, so, so we uh, cut the cyst uh, completely. And go back to endoscope, you can see uh, or have, have a wider uh, building. Because uh, the, the blood supply is very, uh, very good in, uh, for the epiglottic glottis. So we have better stop the blood and give a coagulation to ensure there's no chance uh, for the hemostasis. Okay. And actinoid cartilage combined with posterior vocal fold resection uh, it, it is uh, the indication is the paralysis of bilateral vocal cords caused a uh, cause by a series of reasons. And we have to observe for over six months. And if the, the movement of the vocal force can, cannot recover, we can do this operation. And if the patients have breath uh, difficulty, uh, we, we first cut the mucosa uh, and to explode the catalog and then we uh, remove most of, of the uh, asthenoid, asthenoid catalog and then we cut uh, the posterior part of the vocal force so we can have a very, a very big, big space for the breath. Uh, the advantage of this uh, precision is it, it is a uh, min minimally invasive and no incision, no incision, uh, incision in neck, and uh, can protect the device. Let's see the video. First, we cut the uh, vocal fold process. Uh, this uh, patient has already uh, uh, did the tracheoectomy.
Then the asteroid catalog was exploded by cutting the superficial mucosa. You can see the cartilage is not as small as we thought. So it, it, it is a little big. So what we pull the cartilage and separate along the border. Uh, at the bottom of the cartilage, uh, there are some um, vessels. So we can use the coagulation first uh, to, uh, to prevent uh, bleeding. Now we can see there is a space at the posterior the part of the uh, glottis. Of course, it, it will uh, shrink, so it, it will become smaller, not, not, not that big after some time, but uh, it is enough for race. And the, the human geoma. We all know human, human geoma is uh, sometimes is a trouble because, uh, because of bleeding. But with a plasma, uh, this procedure becomes very easy. First, we, we try to see the, the age of the laser. And then we use the calculation function. You can see after some calculation, uh, this laser becomes smaller. So nothing, uh, no cut, cutting, only use the calculation function. You can see that the layer disappear. And because of the uh, low temperature, its channel is not it's very small. So here we are, we are have no edema uh, after the operation. It's very safe. A uh, laryngeal amyloidosis. Uh, this is the laryngoscope before the operation. You can see there is a big, big layer uh, uh, appearing to the vocal force. Mm -hmm. 
use the tip to uh, ablate the layer gradually. You can see vocal folds now, just under, under the neighbor. Okay. Finals, it must be a sufficient salon. And don't activate the electrode in the air. Put the electrode tape in normal line to trail. Oh, sorry. Uh, when you see the orange light in indicate, it means the electrode is infected. And if the suction hole is blocked, we can put it in normal saline and active the ablation function a few seconds or rest with a uh, serene. Pay attention to protect the anesthesia intubation uh, during the procedure. Okay, thank you for your attention. And thank you for the invitation of once. And thank you for the professors here. Thank you for all the audience here. Thank you. <laughs>